Hi all, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video we will going to discuss the NWC scenario. So in previous videos we have discussed how we can pass the data from parent to child and child to parent. So in this scenarios uh, what is there? The components are related to each other, okay? And we are able to pass the data while uh, using the custom event and while using the API tag related. But now today in this video we will discuss how we can pass the data if the components are not related to each other okay so two independent components are there in, okay and we want to now pass the data from one component to another component okay so we will discuss here how we will which connector or which library we will going to use here okay and possible step we should perform if we want to pass the data between independent components so let's move to our screen and start with the video Okay, so first let me brief you about the requirements. So let's suppose I have two components. This is component one and this is component two and both are not related to each other. Okay, so no relationship is there between both and the requirement is like this in the component first. I have this text fill whatever the text I have uh, added here or right here. So on click of button this text should be displayed on the second component okay and this component is not related to the first one okay so this is the requirement that is uh, here is the text field whenever i write any text here like suppose my name kanika and on click of this button the kanika should be displayed here in the second component okay so how we will going to achieve this so to connect or to transfer this value to the second component which is not related to the first one we will going to use this pub sub library okay so this is the piece of code javascript code which is provided by the salesforce we will going to take help of this code and in this code we have uh, multiple function added in this using this function we will going to fire an event from the first component and which will be going to handle or going to register in the second one okay in the second component where we want to get the values from the first one okay so this is the requirement now let me uh, show you the step which we will going to proceed or which we will going to implement while achieving this functionality so these are the few steps if uh, using which uh, the picture will be a bit clear to you what we will going to do here okay so, so the steps are first step is first we will going to create the pub sub component okay so this is the uh, in this uh, we will going to use this publish subscribe singleton library code so this is the code piece of code provided by the salesforce itself and we will going to paste this code in the js controller okay in our component lwc component one of the lwc component okay and in this piece of code we have four different methods register events unregistered uh, sorry register listener unregistered listener unregistered all listener and the fire event so these four will we will going to use in our components to make the communication between the unrelated components okay so the second step will be first uh, we will going to save this file okay now the next will be in our publisher component so the publisher one is the one from which we want to send the message or we want to pass the values okay so the in the we will create the publisher component and this we will going to fire the event and to fire the event we will going to use this event from the pub sub library okay so the first thing uh in uh, we need the current page reference we need the page reference uh on the, cur the current page on which we are so how we can get this we can directly import this from the lightning navigation okay and use the wire decorator we can get this current page reference okay now next part will be to import the fire event from this pub sub library because to pass the values we need to fire the event which method and this fire event method we will going to import from this pub sub library now this is the one we will going to uh, these are the two main steps we need to follow in the publisher component that is the component from which we want to send the values now the second third step we will going to do is then we will going to create the subscribe component this is the component in which the value will be displayed or we will going to get the values which are passed from the another component okay so in this way uh, we will create will create the subscribe component and that will subscribe to the event so first thing here we will going again we need the current page reference okay so for this we will going to import this light uh, we will going to import this from lightning navigation and using a uh, wire decorator we will get this now the second part is 
here we need to register the event or register the listen so, so here we need to register the event so we will going to use two functions from the this pub sub library one is the register listener and the second is the unregistered listener from the pub sub library okay so the register listener will be used in the connected callback and the unregistered listener will be used in the disconnected callback okay so, okay so now uh, let's move to the vs code and i will show you the code and hope you are clear with the requirement so the requirement is this i have text field here whatever the value i will going to add here and on click of button this value to be displayed on the second component okay so this requirement we will going to achieve now so here is my vs code okay so the first as per this step first we will going to add this pub sub library so here as you can see i have created our lwc component and in this lwc component uh, naming with pub sub connector okay no template html no code in the html added and only in the js part i have added the piece of code which is needed to connect the components okay so here in this as you can see we have this register listener and this register listener contains few parameters like the event name the name of event we will going to use to connecting both the components then the callback so this is the function which is invoked or uh, in which we will going to get the values from the uh, from the event which is fired okay so the third parameter is this argument so this is uh, in this parameter we used to pass the this keyword okay so this is to bound the callback function okay so this is about the register e listener now next same come the unregistered listener which we will use in the disconnected callback in the sub or the subscribe component where we are getting the values here also we have three parameters first is the event name then the callback and the this argument so the same as of the register listener okay so the next is the unregister all listener so uh, either you can uh, you can directly use this uh, unregister all listener in the connected connected callback will directly disconnect all the listener or you can uh, one by one use the unregister listener for each and uh, for each event okay here we need not need to create separately or we need not di uh, separately disconnect the callbacks here all will be disconnected using this unregister all listener okay now the next come is the fire event this is a function which we will going to use in our publish so component okay here again we have three parameter first is the page reference which we will going to get from the uh, navigation uh, library okay next is the event name we will going to pass and the third is the payload so payload is of the event to fire or here we will going to pass the value which we want to collect in the callback and at the end here we will use export and in export we will going to add all our functions so that we can import them in other components okay so this is the one uh, we have created the pub sub uh, we have added this pub sub library and these functions now we will going to use our components so we can pass the values between them so now the next as per this point our next step is to create the publisher component and we will going to import these two files so here i have created the publisher component this one okay so here uh, this one is import this is to uh, this is uh, by default which we always use and here i have added the wire decorator because you getting the page reference we will going to use this now the next is the fire event which i have import from the pub sub connector the uh, controller js controller which we have recently created so from here in this we will going to import this function now the next one is to import the current page reference from the lightning navigation so that we can able to get the current page reference page reference of current page okay so here uh, this is the publisher name this is the component name and moving to the html part as per this requirement we need one text field and one button okay and on change of this text uh, this should be on change so that the change value can be reflect and on click of this we will going to fire the event here is the html part so here i have added one lightning input so on change the change name this will going to give the current value okay and a button with name send and on click of this we will going to publish or going to fire the event okay now let's move to the js so here change name 
this will going to give the event dot target dot value that is the current value of the input field and the, in the publish event we have fire the event which is imported from the pub sub connector this connector okay the fire event and the three parameters we need to pass here let me show you in the fire event So here, as you can see in the fire event, we need three uh, parameters. First is will be the page reference, then event name, then the value. Okay. And the same we have done here. This is the publish event. Fire event is called here on click of button. And in this page reference is passed. Okay. Here. And the event name is event from pub. Okay. The event name will can be anything of your choice. And the next is in the payload, we have passed the value of the current text. Okay. Now in the subscribe component, we will going to get this or listen this event. So here is my subscribe component. In the first, we have uh, imported the decorator. Now, the next, we have imported the page reference. Okay, current page reference. Then, the next, we have imported registered listener and the unregistered all listeners. Okay, so be because in the subscribe component, we will going to use both of unregistered and uh, unregistered and the register. So, the registered one is always used in the connected callback, and the unregistered one is used in the disconnected callback. So, using the wire decorator, we got the page reference. Okay, now the next using the connected call uh, we have uh, used this connected callback so that we can register the listener that we can use this register listener function okay and here in the register listener function we have three parameters which need to be passed here here is the event name callback and this keyword so the same is done here event name is the event from pub then the connect callback function so this is the callback function name here set capture text okay so in this function we will going to get the value and this keyword we have used here now in this set capture text what we have done here the obj payload value we will going to get the value which is passed from the publish so here this dot subscribe uh, this was the variable which we have declared in this component only so use this this keyword here and in this we will going to pass this value okay so whatever the callback function you will going to use by default you will going to add a parameter here okay and in this parameter we will going to have the value which is passed from the published component okay and this you can assign to your current component and this value now we can show on the html let's move to the html part of this so here uh, nothing more nothing much we need to do here we just need to show the text which we have to which we have assigned the payload value okay so this is how we will going to connect between the unrelated components so now let me show you the demo and uh, let's move to our salesforce org so here uh, i have added my both the components so this one is the published component okay first component and this one is the subscribe component the second one okay in this we will going to enter the value like suppose kanika i have added my name here and on click of this button the event will fire as soon as event will fire in the subscribe component uh, due to the event name it will going to register this event and show you the value on the template okay let me hit send here so as you can see this has shown me the text which i have added in the first component and both components have no relation between them both are unrelated one so this is similar like of the application event we used to do in the aura components okay and the same thing is we are doing a pub sub we are doing in the lwc so hope you guys enjoy this video so if you have any questions or any scenarios to share so you can share same on the comment section and we'll discuss and, and we'll try to upload the video on same. Okay, so we'll meet you soon in the next video. Till then, take care.